Hello, all of you being gloriously wonderful people, and welcome back to Astroneer. What is up? How is everybody? Uh, you can see the base here on Glacier that we were building last night. Well, we had a little chat, me and Bamboozled, last night uh, during the stream. And I had kind of discovered a crater over here that is completely surrounded on all sides. Um, and I thought, you know, that I wish I would have seen that earlier. That would have made a great place for a base. And the more I got to thinking about it, the more I decided it needed to happen. So I've gone through, I've left a, as much of the natural terrain as possible down there. But it was so many different levels that I did have to flatten a bit. Um, and I need to still go through and paint it. Um, what I'm doing right now is marking the location of each tunnel. I have four different tunnels. They're not perfectly around the edges, but they're close enough. Um, let's see, I've got a tunnel there. I've got a tunnel there. A uh, tunnel over there. And they look really cool because, like, you just kind of have this light coming down through the, the tunnels. Uh, this one needs reconnected, though. Um, I, I haven't quite got this one reconnected. I was doing some leveling and some things, so we just need to do this until the two different levels meet. Just like that. There we go. Tunnel repaired. Uh, and then we have a tunnel over here. Um, so four different tunnels out. Plenty of space down here for a base. Um, I want to go through and paint it and get rid of the gray where I was leveling and moving terrain and all that. Um, but that's the plan for tonight is to paint this and then move everything that we currently have um, over here into there. Thankfully, I've got one of the tunnels is just like really close and I can just right in. Granted, it's going to take a lot of packagers and such, but uh, I think with the combination of some of those large silos, uh, we should be able to get everything moved fairly quickly. Um, but I just want to finish marking my um, tunnels first because, well, one, I want to be able to find them when I'm out roaming around, but also I, I'm marking the entrance as well as the top up here because I want to be able to come back and put wind turbines like I have here. Uh, this one's not quite above a tunnel, but I'm okay with that. Um, they won't all be perfectly aligned. But anyways, how's everybody doing tonight? I hope you are all doing well. Um, so see, I've got like a beacon down there and then a beacon up here to tell me, hey, this is where a tunnel is. Uh, I think I'll probably wind up just leaving the beacons that are up high. That way I can find the tunnels when I'm not in here. Uh, otherwise, I think it could be a problem. <laughs> so we just need to go find this one over here. I think it comes out back here. Can I get over this, please? Hello, shiny Zool. What's up? Lurk away. Yeah, that crater is pretty incredible um it really is it really 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 is hi donkey how you doing buddy so i need a bit more quartz but then i got more beacons I will drop one right there. And what I'm eventually going to do on all of these tunnels. Why can't I get that to go up there? Uh, but anyways, what I'm going to eventually do on every one of these tunnels. Go up, stay, look, right? That's fine. No, it's moving, but whatever. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. All right. Uh, what I'm going to do on all of these tunnels is eventually have lights all throughout the entrance. Uh, so the roof will be lit. So you'll have just like lights all down through here. Uh, and it'll be, it'll be kind of cool. I think, I don't know. Could be wrong. Maybe it'll look stupid, but I think it'll look pretty cool. 
So we just got to go up top and mark where this one meets the crater's rim. And then do our fourth tunnel. And then we can start uh, making stuff to paint with. Because uh, I do want to paint the train. So if I go just like straight up here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, see this one is just the other side of these two big rocks. And I really don't want to disturb those, so I'll probably put my wind power here on this side. Um, yeah, the tunnels look pretty freaking cool. I'm not going to lie. They look really cool because they're just nice, long, straight tunnels. Um, so you can see them all from up here. Like, there's one there. There's one there. Um, there's another one right below us. And then there's another one. I don't know where. Uh, there's four total. But that's the one over there that we haven't marked yet. Um, there should be one like, yeah, there's one there. I need to put a beacon on that. It was kind of hiding. I left, like I said, I left as much of the natural terrain as I could. Uh, just so it has some interesting terrain features in there. So those two are in a straight line right there. So that means my tunnel, yeah, is right here. So we'll drop a beacon right here. That'll let me know. I kind of want to have the wind power as close to on top of the tunnels as I can. That one, maybe not so much. Um, and then we might even do like a half step in between. Like that one's kind of halfway in between those two. We might do that. Um, but this is going to be a cool base. This is going to be a very cool base. And all of its wind power will come from up here. And then what I'll do is run extenders down the side into the lights that are lining the tunnel. Um, and then that light, wow, that's a really thin wall. I could have had a tunnel right there too. Oh, well. Uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> you need a crater layer like this? You know, I've not encountered anything like this before on Glacio. Like, this is a first for me. I really could have a tunnel right there, too, but I'm not gonna. Um, this really is a first for me on Glacio. Um, I, I've never had them, I've had them almost completely surrounded, but never completely, completely surrounded. We are only like five or six weeks away from being rid of that Nitrato server. Moving the G portal. I played on a G portal server for a little bit today. I don't know if it was my internet or the G portal server, but I kept disconnecting a lot. But when I was connected, the performance was beautiful. There were four or five people in there and it ran flawlessly. So then this one comes out, I think like way over here. Uh, no? Where does that one come out? I, I don't know where that one comes out. Well, I guess we'll have to go in there and find out, won't we? But yeah, I, I just... After seeing this last night and then talking with uh, Bamboozled Games, I just decided, you know what? We have to. We have to. We have to meet this thing. Wow, this is a long tunnel. Holy cow. This might be the longest one. So it kind of comes out into what? Scariness. But we can make a road around that. Um, so I just want to throw a beacon right up here on the edge. These four beacons down low will stay here. These are going to be permanents. Hello, Michael. What is up? I can't see. Because of my, my microphone. There we go. Cool. And that marks that beacon or that tunnel. I could lower this one a little bit, but eh. I'll leave it alone. We'll just have a ramp. So yeah, we just have all these cool tunnels leading into our base. And then once you get in here, it's just open. Yeah, the most badass place, exactly. It's not, yeah, it kind of looks like it's all leveled to the same level, but it's not. 
Um, you can kind of see transition lines here and there. Uh, that was just necessary to make sure that the approach leading up to the different tunnels was good. And I don't think I need to remove any more terrain. I think I've removed all I need to. Um, what's really cool is I think we can get an auto extractor on this hematite deposit right here in the middle of our base. And then I think we can do another one like on the side of the mountain for resin. Um, and then there's ammonium right up top. Like over there. So I think we can do another one. I'm doing well, Michael. How are you doing? I think we can even do like an auto extractor right there for ammonium, which is... How cool is this going to be to have like... A lair! I have a lair! Look at it. It is completely surrounded on every side and I love it. I, can I get up here? I don't know if I can get up there or not. It might be too high. Oh, I almost had it. Come on. Oh, yeah, this crater's massive, man. Oh, there we go. I can get up this way, maybe. Jump on top of the hematite. Come on, jump on top of that hematite right there. No? Dang it, I'm gonna get stuck on this stuff and wind up dying. Yep, there it goes. Nope, okay, I'm fine. Anyway, I wanted to get up there because that could be a really good view. Maybe I can get up right here. This is kind of... There we go. So here in the center, I'm not going to have anything. I might put like a couple windmills or maybe my battery storage or something um, here in the middle. But this is kind of the, the midpoint and it's just the CJ. I like how that one is kind of concealed by the the ledge that comes out. But we're going to leave all of these spiky boys here. Uh, all these icicles are staying. So let's get stuff to paint this with. Um, I think it's all just one color. I don't see color. I mean, I know there's gray in here, but as far as it's, it's not gray, I don't really see color variation in this. So I think if we just go in another similar area and just do a soil, uh, or a train analyzer from there, we'll be all right. So we need a train analyzer and we need an inhibitor mod to make this happen, to paint this. So I want to I want to paint it before I start bringing stuff in because when you paint it can cause uh, platforms to become disconnected. And we don't have that far of a move. I mean, we're just moving stuff from here to in there. Granted, I do have to move those wind turbines and those wind turbines. Why aren't they? Why are they showing us down? I didn't. Do they retract when you load a game? Oh no. Anyways, I need some zinc. So I need that. And that. And I put that away. So I need a train analyzer. What was that? Small battery. Boost mod, inhibitor mod, alignment mod. Train analyzer. Uh, then I need an inhibitor mod. I thought I unlocked the inhibitor mod. Oh, there it is. I passed it. And also a lot of chaos. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a bit of work, but I think it's worth it. I think I'm going to make a wide mod as well, just so I can paint a wider area at once. But I don't think I unlocked it. Like last night, I'm like, I'll never need the wide mod. And then, well, this happened. Um, I decided I wanted to do a project. Jumad. Wide mod, wide mod, wide mod, wide mod. I know it exists, wide mod. There we go. Um, I do think we need to make a really quick trip, though down to um, Silva because when I'm painting, I'm going to be using 0 0.2, so 0 0.7, uh, 1.2, and the QT only puts out a uh, one, and I don't have another QT here. So I'm going to go grab another QT RTG.
that way I don't have to worry about power, just oxygen. I could make a portable oxygenator, but eh, I don't worry about it. All those beacons marking the lair. It's not very secret, is it? So here it is. Here's my lair. I'm going to fix that, though. Don't worry. Uh, I'm just going to steal one of these. That is literally all we're here for. Cool. We're ready. Let's go paint. I'm excited about this. This is going to be, this might be one of my coolest spaces ever. If I can get the design right on it and everything. I think with like those giant windmills up above, just all lining the the rim of it. I think it's going to look so good. And then we'll move the landing pad in there too. Like, I don't know where in there, but we will move the landing pad in there. Cool. Let's go get the rover so we can use that as a source of oxygen. Whoop. Didn't jump. Fail. And let's get to it. Let's go first of all and sample a color kind of away because I got to dig a bit of a hill. So I want to stay in this greenish. I don't want this light green. I want the darker green. Another huge ammonium patch. So let's go just down over this hill. Get back into the darker green. There we go. Cool. So are these two the same color? Yeah. So what I need to do is turn off the inhibitor mod for just a moment. And then dig until we fill up train analyzer there we go done now we turn the inhibitor mod back on we headed to our lair I did well and I mean I'm making the move bamboozled yeah you talked me into it last night like after the stream I, I, I was thinking about it and I'm just like man that would be so cool so we're moving tonight um your fault uh but at least we don't have that much to move. And I'm, I'm very happy about it, though. I, I really am. Um, I did flatten just a bit of some of the rough terrain. Oh, that's not my... Where's, where's the actual rim of this thing up here? It's kind of hard to find. Um, I did flatten a few areas out. And that's why we've got to come in and paint now. Well, where the hell is it? Can't find my own base. There it is. All right, here we go. Yeah. But we are going to put an auto extractor on that hematite deposit and have like automated steel production, steel and iron production. Um, so I just flattened it out. Uh, it's not all the same level. Yeah, I've got four of them. And just look at that. So I'm going to line the top of it with floodlights. Or maybe work lights. Work lights put off a softer glow. I don't know. So probably work lights. And just have like at their maximum cable length. And what I'm going to do is we'll have our windmills like up here. I'll run extenders back along the back side of the hill and connect there to bring the power in via the work lights right here. Um, that'll be sick. It's going to be freaking awesome. All right, so he's got to paint. Like, that is the name of the game now, is painting, which is easy. It just takes a while, but the boost or the live mod will help. I'm going to try to stay away from the... Well, it won't dig resources, so we're fine. Um, I mean, I can copy the save before I start building the base in here if you want me to. I don't mind sharing the save. A little gray showing through there. Different color in here in the tunnel, but oh well. It'll be fine. Let's just make sure the tunnel is... All good. 
all the way to the end that we don't have any gray out here. Yep, a little bit there. Oh, and back in. I just want it to all look bright. A couple of the tunnels didn't quite line up from where I originally dug them to where they are now. So some of them are a little bit taller than the others, but nothing drastic. I'm lucky that this is all the same color terrain down here. Okay, I want to be careful over by these dudes. I just don't want to dig them up. I want to keep them. So it's still a little lumpy in places, but I don't want it to be perfectly smooth. I'm fine with it not being perfectly smooth. Because mainly it's to get it perfectly smooth means that it would like be higher on one end than the other. Um, and I don't want that. Um, but I like some help moving. I mean, I've only got the one rover here, so I don't know. I, I don't, I, I just don't know if it would be beneficial to have another person. We will walk. <laughs> Not that far. There's just no oxygen in here, though, boys. Just oh, speaking of no oxygen. Let's get some oxygen. There are a couple little places you get stuck on invisible things in here, so that's kind of a sad, but there's not many of them. You say oxygen, don't, or robots don't need oxygen. Yeah, they do. Oops, I thought that wasn't supposed to take resources when the inhibitor mod was on. Thought that was kind of the whole point of the inhibitor mod. I like that it's making no noise. It's really creepy. But creepy in a... a it's a good creepy. Uh, did we check this one? No, we did not. And I guess some of this painted in. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I got a lot of this down here. And then. Also, it just remembered uh, up top where those windmills are. There's a little bit of gray that can be seen from inside the lair. Yeah, yeah, probably more of a cyborg. All right, I know I've missed somewhere. Surely I'm not done painting all this. Oh, yeah, the tunnel here. Okay. I don't know that I really need to even package up all that much stuff since it's so close. Like, maybe just the big platforms that can't go on the rover. Maybe just package those up. That might be about all I need to package. Everything else will just be a matter of throwing them on the rover, driving in, and dropping them off. Holy crap. How much? What are you scrapping? Are you turning soil into scrap or what? <clears throat> Those it just from allergies. Eight scam market. I don't know what that means. What does that even mean? Where's where's the rover? Uh oh, where's the rover? And around here. That is a bit of a problem, you know. You can't see the rover over all this, but hey. It's 
So we need to do this tunnel. I thought I already did this tunnel, but I guess not. Come on, second notch, just hang Phil. It's really hard to see with that localized snowstorm, but there you go. Go. I really hope the people who were looking forward to me playing Valheim tonight aren't upset. I just, I had to do this. And I started on it this afternoon, so I wound up with some free time. I'm like, yeah, I have to finish this tonight. Just, oh, gotcha. You're doing the old uh, exploit. Cool. That's painted. Uh, that went really fast. Alright. Yeah, I mean, if, if that's how you want to play, that's how you want to play. They'll either fix it or they won't. They're aware of it. Uh, so I just need to get up top and go paint that little bit by those windmills. I'm going to go ahead and move those windmills too. I mean, five crap for a second. I bet that would destroy your computer. I mean, I've got a pretty good rig, but I know how when you get exponentially big things happening, how the uh, game's optimization doesn't quite hold up. I really do think I want them like spaced out though like I think I want to do another like a set above each tunnel and then a set halfway between or is that just going to be way overkill it's been it's six been months, six months already. already it has one of my longest relationships ever six months what's up strange how's it going Welcome to my future home. It is surrounded on all sides by sheer cliffs. And I've got four four tunnels in there. Yeah, I'm thinking we only need one in each area. So um, let's. I don't have any room. Um, I need that guy and I need to turn that off and then what I'll do is flatten right about oh, let me turn you on flatten right about there so they're just down below the edge I could hide them if I really wanted to. Like, if I wanted to go to the trouble, I could dig little tunnels and run the extenders down the tunnels. I've done that before. So on this side, yeah, there's going to be a huge ledge sticking out from the hill, but I don't care. When we're inside, we won't see this huge ledge. Can I hot swap, please? Thank you. Celebratory honk. Actually, it was an accidental honk, but we'll call it celebratory. So there we go. We'll do that, and then we'll paint underneath it too. Ow. Colors don't quite match, but oh well. They're the official layer colors, so we'll all live with it. So yeah, we'll move these dudes over to that one. I can now have multiple honks for different things with different sounds, and I'm pretty excited about it. I haven't really started experimenting with that yet, but I'm looking forward to it.
I mean, these things make quite the racket when you're moving them. All right, so I want to have them facing in. Yeah, I want them facing into the lair so that when you look up to the ridge, and that's just the stain. It's just the lair, and that's just a perfect name for it. So move this one, and then we'll see where that platform needs to go. I love that these stick to whatever you put them on. Whoops. Didn't mean to grab the cable. Meant to grab the whole thing. There we go. Good. <laughs> okay, careful, careful there. And so this one needs to go like that. Yeah. But then let's uh, make him look a little more presentable. There we go. Are those clipping? Can't tell. Yeah, they are a little bit. So move this one back ever so slightly. Now are they clipping? Nah, they should clear now. They're so big, it's hard to see up to the top of them. I guess I can mess up the field of view. Oh, you, come here. And then don't worry, for those over there, we're gonna package them and bring them over. For 45, ugh. I, I know some people who play with a really weird FOV, and I'm just like, dude, how do you even deal with that? You run it really, wow. So that one's not going to be as visible on this side, but I'm okay with that. Twist the cable. Let it trigger you. Let, let the triggeredness wash over you. So then what we'll do is we'll run extenders down to the tunnel entrance and then they will connect to a work light and will run work lights the length of each tunnel and that's how we'll get our power inside that way we don't have to see any extenders running down these side walls there may be an extender too that has to run like from the work light uh but if i do it right I I think we'll be able to get away with it. Like maybe attach some small wind turbines and get them to just stick to the side of the the wall. I can't get up this side. Gotta go this way. All right, so let's go move the other two, and then we'll start moving stuff on the base itself. Um, and we'll also need to pick up all these extenders. Ugh. That'll be fun. We also need to move those. I think those are gonna move over to there, like on that kind of triangle, like one on each end. Boop, 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 just like that. I think that'd look cool. I was originally gonna build like a false floor and have like tunnel system underneath it, but that was gonna be so much work. I'm just like, mm, no, 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 no. I, I can live with it just as it is. I really would like to start picking up these extenders now. I did, however, get a lot of soil uh, digging out the tunnels. Filled up quite a few canisters. All right, so I need to park you and just unload some stuff for now. Throw that up there. Gonna put that there. We're gonna leave our drill and paver behind as well. Got all these individual nuggets just taking up space. All right, cool. So I can package that whole setup and get it on the rover. Uh, but I need, you know, room to do that. Do I have a, yeah, a silo would be very helpful. So I'm done with these now. That's all I needed them for. Uh, so we'll leave that hematite behind for now as well. I will put, oh, the 
Where's my mouse cursor? There it is. Put that on there. I'll leave that behind. I don't need the second QT now. Um, and then we'll move this little canister over here. Actually, let's do this right. This little canister on top. Just more aesthetically pleasing. Cool. Uh, graphite. Graphite, graphite, graphite. My resources are in such a mess. Are you graphite? You're graphite. Cool. So I need four. And then we'll come back and get more later. Doo -doo -doo. This is a lot of stuff to move. But like I said, I think I can move it all just by packaging up the platforms and then just making a bunch of trips back and forth. Because all these dudes will just slap down onto the rover, no problem. All the different modules will. And I can carry three at a time, so I think it'll be okay. Just be a lot of trips. Totally, totally worth it. So we get the one the farthest away first. Up here by the boom balloon that had a panic attack that we were here last night. You have to clap these first, but I'm going to. Probably don't have to, honestly. I'm say that better not ping off in the non existence. I'll be pissed. It did go really high, though. Guy. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Play nice. There we go. Awesome. So we'll put these uh, above. So that's this tunnel that I put those under. So we'll go over to this tunnel. These two tunnels are a little close together. Um, I kind of use like natural features like where you can see it's kind of hard to really make out but like there was naturally a flat spot there and then there was one also right here so I kind of tried to put my tunnels in those and then I wanted one over there and there wasn't a naturally flat spot so I just kind of wound up where it is oh I do still need the uh, um, alignment mod to make my flat little area. Yeah, so let's go grab that real quick. This looks really weird, just a big square rover. All right, where did I put that? On here? Yeah, yeah, we definitely still need that. Cool. Now we can go up there and do this. And again, the beacons aren't going to stay. They're just there to mark where I'm going right now. And then I'll take the only beacons that'll stay are the ones at the actual ground level entrances. These ones up around the rim, they'll go away. So let's do this one. Um, so the next tunnel is way over there. I'd kind of like to leave this natural a little bit there, and I'd kind of like to leave that. So let's do this one, like, here. It won't be quite perfectly lined up, but it doesn't really matter, because I'm just running the extenders down to the tunnel. So let's uh, go off of uh, right about here. Yeah, that works for me. Oh, I did leave my paint tools behind. Oh, well. Whoops. We can go back and get the paint tools later. Yeah, my FOV stays at default too, it's on. I just noticed you put that in chat. Ooh, we're gonna need soil. Good thing I happen to have a rover with canister on it. Why did you not fill that up? Do I have to attach it to the right end? 
Yes. Odd, but okay. So let's go here. Package you. Get you all lined up. It would be easier to see where it's lining up with the blades down like this. Cool. So you sit a little further back, and the other one will sit closer to the edge. Is it facing in the direction I want it to face? Uh, yeah, it's fine. Those make such a cool noise when they're in operation. You can just kind of hear, like, the slightest mechanical gear sound of everything up there in the housing. It, it's just really, really cool. And we'll put this on at a slightly different angle. There we go. Grab the platform and just shove it over there and then grab this dude. Could have parked the rover closer, but oh well. So you chill there. You can be right up here on the edge now. That way you're visible from down there. These up, lock that. And wha-bam. Yes. Yes, so much yes. And we will need to make a whole other set of those. But that'll come later. I want to get the base moved first. A lot of extenders to pick up, too. That's going to be fun. Strange have contributed a total of 2,000 channel points towards the Choose the Game Challenge, where chat will get to choose a game that I play sometime in May. God, is it already about to be May? Jesus. Oh, uh, you know what would help to have here would be uh, some graphite. Can I reach it from here? Maybe. I might be able to pull off the long reach. Uh, where is it? Yeah, let's bring this whole thing. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Put that down. Put it back down. Crap, I didn't get it inside. And well, bam Graphite. And now we're just making a mess down there. So, for more of these, stand up, sir. Or not. Just fall over, too. That's fine. Here. I'll catch you. You're fine. And four, and then go down there. <laughs> Just throw it over the edge. Oh, God. Hey, it works. So I'm wondering, uh, with the work lights lining the tunnel, hello, Radium, what's up? With the work lights, they're gonna line the tunnels. Should I do a work light every gap that the maximum length of the cable can go? Or should I do a work light with an extender in between then another work light and kind of spread the work lights out a little bit? I guess we could do both and see how it looks. And the base now has no power. Well, no, it still has those three dudes over there producing power. Yeah, I think we'll do um, like half of it one way, half of it the other and see which one looks best. I don't want it to be like blinding bright when you drive through there, but I do want some light. I could do floodlights, because floodlights would make a nice round circle of light down on the ground, but they don't really fill the area. So I'm torn between work lights and floodlights. If it's floodlights, then we gotta make a trip to Calador, because I don't have enough uh, stuff work lights think I just like that they give off a more diffused um, 
light. Uh, Rinium, we are moving our base from over there. I came up on this hill, just driving around, and discovered that I have this crater, basically, that is completely surrounded on every side by cliffs. And I thought, how amazing would that be for a base? Too bad I already built it. And then Bamboozled here uh, talked me into moving my base last night. So this afternoon, I dug four tunnels uh, out. And then kind of went through with the train tool and just sort of kind of leveled it off. It's not perfect, and I don't want it to be perfect. But I've got tons of space down there. Um, so that's why we're calling it the lair, because it's like, you know, just secret entrances or something. I don't know, but uh, it just looks cool. And then what I'm doing right now is we had our wind power kind of spread out in a bunch of different places, but because these entrances are pretty spread out, I think we can get away with just putting them up around the, the edge of here. Um... All right, those entrances are two are really close together. So instead of putting that right on top, I think I'm going to go here just directly opposite those. And I don't think I need to flatten here. I think this is flat enough. I, I don't think they're going to be leaning too far backward Whoop, or forward. Uh, let's see. They are really tall. Are they going to be leaning back too far? Yeah, they are. Okay, I do need to flatten it. Because they look a little funky. Alright, it's fine. I can flatten it. Not a big deal. Yep, that's still turned on. Hey, hey. Knock it off. Um, It's been a while since I built, made a Glacial base. That's really the only reason. <laughs> I mean, there's no... There's no reason other than that. It's just been a while since I've made a Glacio base. Uh, we're also going to have a pretty big base on Calador, though. It's going to be more about automating uh, copper and um, aluminum alloy and uh, hydrazine. I'm just going to bury that dude. That's the going to be the goal of the... Uh, Calador base. So we can just kind of like go there, grab some resources when we need them, and they'll be ready to go because we'll have it all automated. I'm doing all right, Jabo. I assume you're talking to me. I mean, sexy isn't a name people usually use to describe me, but hey. So get that one there. My mom says I'm handsome. Uh, put this here. So, I'm thinking about maybe doing extenders to connect them all together up here and then also running them down. Hmm, I don't know. We have a lot of extenders. And then this will go right here. I'm fine with the fact it faces the other direction. They don't all have to be the same. God, those sound so good. Um, I'm thinking about connecting all of it along the top with extenders, but like I said, we're also going to connect to the back side of the tunnels. Well, if I do it all in one ring, all the way around, even though it's split it in half, it'll wind up running that half right back into the other side. Um, so you'll still get the same output uh, from all four of them. And what it'll wind up doing is I'll have half or a quarter coming out of each one of these. But then that's all just going to go back into the base somewhere. So it should be okay. Um, and what I'll do is inside the base, do like I did over here at the current base uh, and use strategic placement of light poles to be able to connect it all together so that it's all on one grid so it will unsplit the power basically. Let's go ahead and pick those up. 
Okay, yeah, that's right. I remember now. I was going to make an auto arm to do this, but I've tried this before. And while an auto arm can pick up extenders, it doesn't bundle them. This is kind of satisfying. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this is kind of cool. <laughs> Oop, out of space. Go to bed, J-Bos, already. Wow. Early bedtime for little J-Bos tonight. Sleep well, J-Bos. It was fun trying to get him picked up. Well, thanks for checking on me, buddy. Night, buddy. Pick up my mess from earlier. Okay, I can go up there. That's fine. Put that away. And then uh, I need to just offload all of these that I just picked up. over here where these dudes keep shooting at me. Where did I leave the rover? And why did I leave the rover? Well, there it is. Let's go get the rover. You should go to bed. It's almost 2 a.m. I am in uh, Central Time Zone, so it's uh, 7.55 for me. I start streaming at 7, usually. Do you need to destroy the oxygen with dynamite? I don't know. One way to find out. I'm gonna let him settle down. Came back faster than after a while, and it's a good time to come back. This update's really good. Like, excellent timing on choosing to come back. There you go. Got all those picked up. your world of oxygen. It can get overwhelming at times. Especially when you pick a really stupid, ambitious project like I've done. That'll be a lot of fun, though. Let's scan these. They've been laying here forever. They're only worth 65. Yeah, that's surprising. All right, we drop off these extenders. Yeah, it takes a while to get everything automated uh, and to get it all balanced and have the power for it. And it, it, can, it can really be overwhelming. We used a lot more extenders last night than I thought. All right, cool. Uh, let's start moving stuff. Actually, um, let's move this the smart way. We'll worry about power once we get everything moved in and I decide where I want everything. I don't know why I put the graphite away. I still need it. I'm gonna need a lot more than that, probably. We'll get this wind that's down here eventually. These are huge boxes, so we will take a couple of those first 
have to get rid of the lights for a minute. There we go. I just got all this put together yesterday, now I'm just ripping it apart. It's fine. It's fine. I, I never, like, I usually play single player and I never really feel lonely in Astroneer. I mean, I like single player games. Uh, I do play on our server every once in a while and I'm sure I will more once we move from the Trotta to G portal. Like, I'd really like to make most of my Astroneer streams just open to people in the community just to come hang out on the server. And then we could showcase what other people have done and kind of have just a big group thing going. I think it'd be fun. I'll still have my solo projects. Where did the graphite, there's graphite. I'll still have my solo projects. I'll always have my solo projects. But I think it could be a lot of fun to uh, stream from the server more often. I'm tempted to go steal the rover from Silva, but then Silva wouldn't have a rover. That way I can have a second platform. Yeah, I saw that you put a note uh, in the Astro server channel. All right, so let's think. Where do we want everything? I know I'm putting auto extractor on that and then I'm going to put those medium platforms with the wind turbines kind of wherever I can get them up here so where would be a good place for the shelter we should probably put the shelter light up on one of these little ledges maybe like right here by those rocks which of these areas is the biggest That's good size there, and I think there's I think this over here might be bigger. It's so much smaller once you're down here in it. This area over here is bigger, but it's got two entrances that we wouldn't want to block. This little area is teeny tiny. So yeah, I think we're gonna go build our main base will be over here. But then the, er, can, will this field shelter fit here then? Yeah, I can wedge the, uh, no more than I have. Um, I've already done a lot of terraforming in here. Uh, these middle bits were a lot bigger. I'm leaving everything else as is. Um, I, I just kind of like the look of it. We're just having some of this stuff just here. And I'm going to use this terrain to my advantage. Um, like I said, we'll put some platforms with the large wind turbines sitting up here in the middle. Uh, this big deposit of hematite is going to get an auto extractor put on it to pull the iron out of it. Uh, there's some resin over in the wall. Going to have an auto extractor on that resin just kind of sticking out from the wall. So... I don't know, maybe, I bet I could think it fit all back here easy. Yeah, let's do back here. Let's do back here. I have made my decision. So let's kind of angle this. So what's the general line of this wall? Let's figure that out. So that goes generally like there, that would probably be a good angle there. So if we have one there, will having one sticking out look stupid or not? I don't want them to look stupid. No, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine like that. And then this one can go kind of like a little more over there. 
Leave a little bit of room behind it. And those will be able to plug in. Cool. So this will be our soil centrifuge. This will be the soil centrifuge and smelters. This will be our chem lab. And then we'll do printers here. Where are we going to do resource storage? I don't know. Um, we'll figure it out. And then to get oxygen to all this, we can just throw the field shelter, excuse me, like right up here, like right there. That's a lot of reason the field shelter's here. I won't ever use it as an actual shelter. Storage is always a problem because it can get out of hand really quick, especially when you start scaling up in production. Um, become a quick quick problem yeah let's move that up just a little bit they don't have to be perfectly aligned they just have to be perfectly aligned you know what i mean like not super hodgepodge so that means this one's gonna need to come out some but then will it look dumb sticking that far out not to be all right we could probably do storage like right here and right over here easily. Probably just kind of like running at this angle and then that'll help hide that this is sticking out a little bit. Yeah, I right, locked that back down. That one is locked down. All right, let's go grab the stuff that lived on there. Like how to connect everything chemistries. I like to have like a central production area with my resources right nearby. Um, so I usually like think soil centrifuge is where they start in the most raw form over to the smelter, which then feeds into the chem lab. And then I like to have the resources close to the chem lab with the printers nearby as well. That's usually what I go for. Everybody has their own preference, though. Sure, you can ride there. Fine by me. This is going to take several trips to move all this in and out of there. Wait, let's not go without one of these full. Is this as full as this can get? Eh, yeah, pretty much. Well, if I grab that horn. We can take at least one more thing. Yeah, just don't put the shredder anywhere near at all where you might accidentally. I've made that mistake. I used to keep my shredder right by everything and then accidentally wind up shredding stuff. Um, it, was, it was a feels bad man moment. Like I may put my shredder like way the hell over here on the other side of the base. print anything thanks you go right there you will go right there and then we'll eventually have another one of those silos one on each end just to hold stuffs that we're producing Grover looks so bare when you have just an RTG and a seed on it he just looks so much smaller Things are workhorses, though. Alright, you can come here. Um, I don't want to move the graphite just yet. That was odd. You go there. And you go there. We also need to think about where we want our research station to go. And we gotta find a place for that big ass horn. I think we have plenty of room though. I love I like how it's hazy in here. Like it's permanently hazy inside of here for some reason. It's just always 
Especially at this end, and it's really cool looking. And if you're wondering why I have three soil centrifuges, these two are just to produce raw resources. This one is to produce raw resources that I immediately want to smelt. And so they're on a platform with smelters. If I had a platform that would let me have two soil centrifuges and two smelters and a place to store stuff. How does the horn sound inside the walls? Normal. There's no echo in here. It doesn't recognize it as a cave or anything. Oh God, we can even have the entrance to the caves below somewhere in here. Like we can just like, like right here, we can just dig straight down to the cave below and just have like our own little entrance down into the caves. I don't think there's any more of an echo than there usually is. I could be wrong. I like the way those wind turbines look up along the top. That's really cool. RTGs break your world? Uh, yeah, they can. They get loud. I tend to only use them for rovers anymore. And gas outposts. Alright, so since I've set up the one for the chemistry lab, we want to... No, not you. Go away. I don't want you. Fine, go there, but then get off. Go away. I want to take the chemistry lab set up here. Actually, I take that back. You can come. Up, donkey. How you doing, buddy? I guess there's just one zinc hanging out right there. Here, have a zinc. And I'll take that off the light pole. It's not really where it's supposed to be living. Then you can go on there. Anything else? Yeah, this guy can jump on there. Just take as much as I can in one shot. Boop. Yeah, they do get easier as you go. Yeah, Michael, exactly. The the more you produce, eventually you're just like, eh, I need an RTG. Boom, make an RTG. It just, it's like not a big deal, but it takes a while to get to that stage. I like the way the chemistry lab looks on the front of there. That looks like something out of Mad Max, doesn't it? Can I turn the chem lab on and off? Or the atmosphere? Yeah, the chem. Can you turn it? Hmm, no. I guess you would have to actually be able to select. That's what I can like turn it off and on with the rover. But I wonder if I can do that with the uh, atmospheric condenser. Look, platform. The arrows are facing that way. Why, uh... Nothing says getting ready for bed at 9 o'clock? Donkey goes to bed early. Get over there. Of course, you have to get up really early, too, to catch the bus. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know what it was about that platform, but man, those soil centrifuges are such a few We're really happy to see it. Renny and sleep well. Have a great, great evening. We will be streaming some more of this tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Central Time. You have a great sleep. Take care. At 541. Uh, God, I do not miss going to school. For that reason, right there, that, that's... Oh, uh, I took the graphite and didn't get any more for packagers. I'm smart. Well, we'll go back and get it. 
Oh. Donkey redeeming another hydrate. Damn. Lucky for you, this water is nice and cold. I just filled it up right before the stream. Good point, stream lab. Let me go have another drink. Hey, that from Streamlabs is for you guys, too. That's your reminder from Streamlabs. You guys need to stay hydrated, and you guys need to stretch, too. Posture check. Speaking of stretching and everything, I, I want to know if anybody has any experience with these. Um, under... Does anybody have, maybe not this exact brand, but has anybody ever used anything like this? They're under desk pedals. And I'm thinking, man, while I'm sitting here editing and everything, wouldn't it be great if I could, I just don't know that like I could get the right angle or anything. I'm not sure. Cause like I'd have to like have the chair back a little bit. But it just seems like that would be a great way to keep circulation going and actually burn a few calories while I'm sitting here editing every day. Your grandmother had one. It was decent. It just seems like I need to do something because I sit so much. Um, I'm just kidding. My room's really tiny and full of furniture. There's nowhere to spread around. Whole house is that way. Our house is packed, holy crap. And of course, I have two rooms, and I used to have my own house, so everything of mine is in those two rooms. Um, if you're using a stationary chair, it might be better than a desk chair. Well, some of them are made for, like, um, I don't know why, actually. Under desk elliptical, yeah. Uh, office. Yeah, some of them are actually made for office chairs. They have like bigger pedals. Um, so that you can actually adjust where your feet are. Um, so you can actually have the, the other angle when you're sitting in a desk chair. So like that's just got big flat pedals um, instead of regular bicycle pedals. I don't know. I've been thinking about getting one. They're really, really expensive. But like, I just need I need the circulation because I, I I find myself getting drowsy midday. And it's just because I've been sitting here and have no circulation. Um. Anyway, I was just wondering if anybody ever had any experience with them before I wish list it and wind up with something that's useless. Because where I live, um, going out for walks and bike rides and everything just isn't an option. It, I have year-round allergies here, and I, this is the only place I've ever lived that that's true. You are a boomer donkey, it's okay. Some people are just 80 years old when they're 17 like you. And then some people are 15 when they're redacted years old as I am. Everybody thought I was about to say how old I am. At the drive-in. It's a cool name. Thanks for the follow. How you doing? What is up? Get on there. Get, 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 get. There we go. Uh, um, let's go ahead and open up whoop, another one of whoop, another one of these. <laughs> we'll say whoop a few more times. Just checking out some cool new games. Astroneer is a good game. If you've never played 
I highly recommend. Um, it is very, 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 very good. I don't feel I don't feel my age at all, which I, again, I will never tell anybody how old I actually am. Bonk, bonk. Have I played Outer Wilds? Indeed. It's one of the games we have been playing here on the stream. Where did that go? Can I just pick it up and put it over there? Um, we've been we've been playing some Outer Wilds on the stream uh, for the past several weeks. Taking a guess, 38 to 42, you are incorrect. Though again, I wouldn't tell you if you were correct, but you are incorrect. Yeah, I'm enjoying Outer Wilds. What's up, Ron? How you doing, man? Ooh, I can't fit that one yet. MH is down in Baltimore. What? BWI. <laughs> oh. Gotcha. I don't know airport codes. Sorry. Been busy, finally home. Well, welcome home. We are just in time for us to start moving into the lair. Just gonna... This is going a lot quicker than I thought it would, honestly. I thought this would... I thought this would take us all night just to move everything, but it's going really quick. Uh, printers... Was already facing the right way and that one's facing the right way where's my small boys there they are one and two i'm gonna take that back with me drop this kiddo off so yeah that works and then yeah i can do some storage here and have it kind of go off at like a bit of an angle and then jump the gap and have like gases over here. Um, and maybe even put the atmospheric condenser like over here somewhere. That'll work. That will work nicely. Where are you getting power from? Oh, there's an R QTRTG on there. I'm like, where are these suddenly getting power from? Uh, let's refill on graphite while we're here. somehow managed to unlock that instead. I don't really know how. Ooh, doo -doo. All right, let's go. Pick up more of the things. I wish when you had a QTRTG attached to your backpack that it wouldn't drain your backpack battery to print. Um, actually, we don't want that at the moment. So we just want to grab these on this trip. Can you please? Thank you. Woo Woo thank you, Michael. Appreciate it, man. As always, you're very generous, man. I know you say you're just doing your part, but it's very generous, all the same. Yeah, this is going really quick. Nothing like the nonsense Cardo's been moving. Oh my god, like 40. You gotta get you dust, Gina. Ah! Yeah, see, the real motive is now revealed. <laughs> that has got to be, though, the best thing. 
What I I don't even remember what video or I think it was from the stream where we went and collected all the uh, watermelons under duck butts. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was that. Um, and when I heard it, I'm like, that has to be a thing. It has to, has to, has to be a thing. And I, so I made the clip and I told her about it and she's like, I want to hear it first before I say okay, because I don't know, I, I've made some others with people in the community without their permission, like, uh, you know, uh, the one of uh, Commander Hobo, <laughs> so the several of Commander Hobo. Um, I don't ever ask him, I just do him. But with Genus, I'm just like, you know, I, I better get permission. She's like, I have to hear it first. Okay, am I going out the right way? Oh, it doesn't matter. They are in the same place. But I am. I get turned around in there. Um. Let's take. Those will pack down to tier two if I package them. But there's only four of them total, so I don't think I'm gonna bother. Uh, let's get the field shelter so I can figure out where it's gonna go. And that way we also get some oxygen in there. Did I see another extender? Oh, I missed one. Got our backpacks full, so what we'll do is Oh man, I have hiccups. Throw him right there. Where'd those come from all of a sudden, mate? Why do I suddenly have the hiccups? Uh, so what do I want to take now? I guess we'll go ahead and take you. We have the technology numbering your exits? I could. Well, how would I do that? It's like a signboard? One, two, three, four. North, south, east, west. No, they don't line up to the cardinal directions at all. Which I'm sure will trigger somebody at some point, but oh well. They'll have to get over it. Um, let's package up the platform you're sitting on. Lord, bud, bud, bud. Actually, no, let's go ahead and package them up, because then I can move them all pretty damn quick. So I can just throw them on that guy. That's better. And we'll have just enough. Throw that on there. Grab this guy. Oh. Grab that guy. There we go. Oh, I just realized I've got more extenders to pick up still because there's extenders connecting way out there as well. Cool. Anything else that can just slap on there? I can put these wind guys on there. Come here. Wind guys, come here. Or girls. They could be girl wind turbines. I don't know. I haven't asked them. I really don't know how to determine the gender of a wind vein. You guys? I don't know either. Look at them go. It looks like a mixer when they're like that. We're gonna make a cake. Cool. Um, I don't have one more, so I can't take that. Okay. Fine. We're full anyway, though. Doesn't matter. I could put displays above them, but... Yeah, that's flat enough. I can get a display on there. I may do that. It's not a bad idea. 
I'm not sure this is where I want my research to go. Settle down. Stop draining my rover, please. Wow. Oh. Cool. Here, look, you can have this back. Take this back, please. Thank you. Oop. Graphite. We have gone through almost all this graphite. Oof. We have gone through all the graphite. So we gotta go find some more, because I don't want to dig up out there by the... Um... You know, the thing that goes whoosh, 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 whoosh. Um... The gateway chamber! There's the word. It goes whoosh, 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 whoosh. Will that reach if I put that there? And also, will it even expand there without... Yeah, it has a big spike going up to the top of it, but I'm okay with that. But will you reach from there to there? Yes, she will. Cool. Oxygen. Nice. And he'll just sit up there. Kind of looks nice sitting there. I dig it. You didn't actually have any RTG lags. I can think about the scam system. It lets the entire world of power down. or just to operate at low power. They don't function properly. Oh, interesting. Is that a computer, like, processing power limitation, or what? Kind of curious. So which direction are we facing when we're facing right here? Like, north, east? Oh, wrong button. Yeah, northeast, so that's... These are not perfectly spaced apart. So this one is almost due east. All these beacons, it's like there's so many beacons for me to track. That one's kind of southwest. And this one is Wait, that one's due east, that one over there is due west. Okay. So, west, east, southwest, northeast. So, we could label them north, southeast, west. Uh, all those beacons are cracking me up. Which is tons of beacons. I have the maximum number of things possible. Or just number them. Yes, I could do that too. I could. I could just dump them. Alright, so we've got these dudes out over there. So let's grab those. And then we'll probably forget to pick up the extenders. Jump that gap. Yes. Nicely done. Ooh, I don't have quite enough packages. Big sad. Big, big sad. So we need to go find some graphite. Can you get on the front of there? No, you can get close. And this guy. And then this is our last packager. You're still confused as to where well, if I had that gateway active, I could show you. Um, granted, I don't even know that they're correct anymore, but since we were lied to about where the North Pole was for so many years, um, how many spots do I have open on my backpack? Ah, yeah, I can pick up all these extenders now. That's very 
very satisfying. <laughs> Just the pop, 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 pop. I don't know that I have the, uh, the meme thing anymore. Um, I also don't know which video it is in Ashley Academy that shows it. one god I miss that sound <laughs> I really miss making these videos um maybe it's not this Okay, uh, this one, this is the one it would make sense to, to be in. Maybe not. Oh, this is gateway engines. I want gateway chambers. There, it'd be in this one. There we go. And this is before chapter markers were a thing, so. I want to say it's pretty early in the video. Like, when the odd stone popped up, I'm pretty sure I talked about it. Uh, we did the whole, you gotta activate it, you gotta have the power, this is a power meter, okay. There we go. Oh, by the way, this next sequence I was really, really proud of. I was gonna show you, but I was really proud of this, this sequence that's coming up. I think it starts here. Yeah, I edited it, and those, if you notice, the these are at the exact same place at each jump. Even though I didn't get the positioning right, we get one full cycle jumping between all the different planets. So I could talk about the power requirements and it's all one 30 second activation, but across all seven gateway chambers. Oh, here it comes. We're here. Oh, well, maybe not. I really thought it was in this one. Ah, there it is. So North, as we know, is now south. So, anyways, the so north, south, that would mean this would be east. That would mean this is west. But then, you know, what would that be? More west, more east. So they came up with Zorth because it's at the top, and people always thought that was the North Pole. And then west because literally, um, Boyingless thought it would be funny to have two that started with. W, but the also two that sounded like each other, and that was why. So that's that's north, that's east, that's east, that's west. This is now south, and that's now north. But whatever. Um, that was that was where it all came from. It it was totally Blaine's doing. That's his image. And if you know Blaine, you know that's a very Blaine thing to do. And no, I'm not mispronouncing Brain. His name is Space or Not Boyless. So let me put you there. Uh, let's go ahead and take this guy. 
like that. And then let's take these dudes. So all we've got left are a couple platforms and a bunch of uh, little stuff. So this went pretty quick. I really thought moving all that was going to take a lot longer than it did. I'm happy that it didn't take as long as I was expecting, but I'm surprised. This is going to look so cool with an auto extractor right there on all that hematite. So then I want to do these guys kind of up here. Oh, that's the wrong platform. This is Kim Lab. Where do we want the Kim Lab? Not the Kim Lab, the atmospheric condenser. We can put it here and then store the gases next to it. So I'm going to put it at kind of an angle. And then we can have gas storage just sitting here, just behind some of the other storage that we're going to have. Yeah, yeah, that works. This is going to be a challenge to get all this stuff plugged in. Whatever, you don't have power anyway, I don't care. So then I need to get up there. So let's see if I can't get up there this way. Almost. Throw down, Rover. I need to jump off of you. Ah, dang it. Get back up there. Go, 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 go. Arr. How did I get up there earlier? Now I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck now. Uh, okay, there we go. How did I get up there earlier? Oh, was it like somewhere like this? Yeah, there we go. Cool. So then... Your platform. Put that here. And then we'll have one of those in here. I'm sure the wind blows down here. Yeah, let's do that one on an angle. And then we'll have another one kind of here. Yeah, the wind blows down here. Cool. I kind of figured it would. I mean, if the wind blows in a cave, there's no reason it wouldn't blow here. Throw that one on there. And then we only brought the two platforms, so we'll have to wait for the other ones. Cool, cool. So we'll drop off this stuff. And then we need to go find more graphite. Somewhere on one of these big silos, I have a drill and a paver. I do not know where that is. There's the drill. This means the paver is probably on here too somewhere. Yep. Cool. And then we'll drop him on the front. And I want my headlights too, just so I can see where I'm going. There they are. Cool. Um, kind of like to have a silo just to pick up extra stuff, but whatever. We're just gonna go look for graphite. Uh, so I remember there was graphite somewhere near the base when we were out doing other stuff. So let's see if we can't find some. I just don't remember where. I want to say it was up this way. Well, who knows? It all looks the same. Big, flat, snowy plains. Hi, Graphite! Pick up the graphite? Yes, good job. I 
don't know how much graphite's here, but we're gonna find out. It doesn't look like a whole lot. Let's go down a little lower and see if there's more down below it. There we go. Getting some. Come on, have a whole lot here, please. No, you're not gonna. You're not gonna work with me. So what's everybody up to this Thursday night? Other than watching me dig a hole in the side of the hill, apparently. What games are you guys playing? Graphite, graphite. I need like a bloodhound that's trained to find graphite. That's what the space snails could be used for. Like different colored ones could sniff out different resources. And you'd follow them and they'd take you there and that would be awesome. Curly up too late building the castle of Nahheim. What are you doing? How are you, man? <laughs> Oh, go it up, man. It's late for you, Brits. Astro, you're addicted. I understand. You know, I... I'm always like, at the end of a project, I'm like, well, I guess I'm going to be done with Astro for a while. And I can't. I don't know what I'm going to do next. And then I'll start a new save, and something like this inspires me for my next big, stupid project. And... Then, you know, months go by and... It is so far, I've not gotten bored with the game. Come on, Graphite, where are you? Let's get a little elevation. Very little elevation. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't ever get bored. I always find something to to do that I wanna keep going. I, I do wish You know, I know that they said the reason they haven't built or haven't made a lot of new platforms is because nobody ever used them. But I wish that, you know, for us long-term players, they would throw in variations of even shelters and stuff like... I was watching the, um, the video they put out um, right before the game exited um, Early Access, where uh, it was the evolution of Astroneer. And in one of the shots, they had several different models or different variations of, of a shelter, and they were really cool. Now I thought, how cool would it be to have like four or five different shelter designs to choose from? They'd all function exactly the same. Good job, Rover. But just to be able to introduce a bit of a different design language into your base and to build around. And the same with a bunch of different platforms, you know, just... I'm fine with them just being blue and white. That doesn't bother me. Because mainly they're my channel colors, so of course I would like them. Uh... -huh. But... Just having a, a, just more designs to work with... Would be... Very nice. You guys know the rule, no horn goes unhonked. Even if we don't have room to bring it back, we have to honk it. So good, however, we do have room to bring it back. And now it looks like a big exhaust pipe. 
So what I've done is just put a massive tune on my rover and go with the biggest exhausts I can. Next, we're gonna put some fat 24 inch wheels on this thing. Maybe some spinner rims. Some LED underglow. And of course, like 5,000 watts of audio power with some subwoofers that make your internal organs start hemorrhaging. Oof. It was a rough landing, but we pulled it off. Is that graphite? No. That's not graphite. How much do we even have? Like four pieces? I need a freaking graphite. Come on, RNG. Smile upon me. My RNG's like, dude, I've done my job. It's your job to find it. I put it in the game. I guess I can go down to the core. Or the mantle layer. There's a lot down there. Oh, whoa. There's a lot. Okay, that's what we've been looking for. That's more like it. How much do we have now? 13. Very cool. Uh, so... Let's uh, grab a couple things off of here. Can't see. The microphone's in the way. I'm trying to use the in-game camera to solve that problem. I've got to come up with a different way to mount my mic. Really? I thought I had another spot. I guess not. Uh, where'd that go? Can I have that? Thank you. I just need a better place for the microphone. I'd like to get a lapel mic, but man, that's such a hassle. Then you gotta run the wire and charge the batteries and ugh. Would solve the problem though, wouldn't be in my way, would it? But again, little hell mic's pretty pricey, so that is definitely not gonna happen anytime soon. Like, I looked at upgrading my mic quality by getting an XLR mic. And man, to get a good mic and then a mixer to drive it, and you, you could buy a PlayStation 5 and an Xbox One S for that. It was like $800 for the two in a package, which is just crazy. I guess I'll be content with what we have. There's a little bit more right here, though, that I saw. Alright, let's go back. We should have enough to at least finish moving. I don't think we have 13 things to package. How much? I mean, I thought it was such a future. We have 25 now, so yeah, we should have enough. Let's go. Oop, it's that way. I knew that. I totally knew that was the direction of my base. And no one believed him. Cats are super quiet tonight. Give me, it makes me think my chat's broken again like it was a couple weeks ago. Oh, there's another horn. We have to honk it. We have to honk it. Actually, the only way my internet was acting early this afternoon, I wouldn't be surprised if I was disconnected from my own chat. So good. 
That low note is so good. Yeah, you can get disoriented, but getting lost is pretty tough. No, no, lurk away, lurk away. It's fine that you're quiet. I just, I just happened to look over there. I'm like, man, there's 18 people watching. And chat's just like, not saying a word. If you're new here, and you know, it's your first time, or you've been here a couple times and haven't chatted before, feel free to say hello. We're friendly. Most of us. Most of us are friendly. Any more right here? No, I'll grab it if there is. Oh, there we go. We're done. We're done. Let's go. All those beacons. <laughs> Look at them all on the freaking compass. It's just a pile of beacons over there at our base. You know, what I could do is just use the color for the different uh, entrances on the beacon. I can just put a beacon up on the inside wall and the corresponding color on, on the uh, outside. That could work. You guys see that? Right there. I don't know how well you guys can see that. You know what that is, don't you? Yeah, it's satellite. I didn't think you could see that. Like... It's right above the sun, but the sun's not over there. It looks really freaking cool, though. Just kind of up there on the horizon ish. Yeah, very odd. Remember back in the early days when you could see your beacons on other planets? You guys remember that? Too big of a hit on the vape. <clears throat> I let it get too hot. But yeah, I missed that. That was always so cool. Like, you do not? Oh, yeah, it was awesome. Um, just faintly in the distance, in the sky, because, like, the planets and the so like that's not really Calador, that's not really Aatrox. Those are just placeholders. The the real ones where your stuff is are way out at the edges, kind of along the star band, and they're invisible. What is going on, blood and guts? The actual real ones that we go to, they're invisible when you're on another planet. Um but you used to, be able to see like your home icon and your beacons just barely popping up. We started to build a base on the strange satellite on the server once, and they just never really saw it through. All right, so real quick, I need to make a trip back into here to get something to put all this on. You know, it helped to go through one of the tunnels. It really would.
the compass of this freaking thing. This is such a cool base. I'm surprised at how much stuff fit down in this one end. Truly, truly surprised. Uh, so... I need a little space to drop this stuff off. No, indeed, it only goes so far. Um, Mycroft. Um, has a ramp that goes up into space. And then he has a landing pad up there so that when he takes off on the shuttle, it actually hops down a little bit to get into orbit. It's that high up. He'd have a hard time building up there, though. Um, we have these dudes. I'd like to have, since we've got so many tier one things when they're packaged I'd like to have an empty medium silo so I think I'm going to make one of those real quick uh, we have titanium somewhere zinc, copper excuse me I don't know why I'm yawning titanium There's what we want. Where are you getting your power from? It's that one QTRTG, I guess. We can connect all these so we can get our oxygen all the way across. Oh, there's one else on here. Yes, everyone, hydrate. That's not just for me, that's for you too. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. So we'll do that, and then we'll just throw this guy up here, and then I need my RTG, or the rover won't get very far. Hundreds of those? Yes. Yes. Just fields of wind and solar. I should be able to get everything in this go. In fact, I can take the graphite with me. We should have enough space to do it. And this should get us everything now. And then we can start actually putting it all back together and then finish building a base. Uh, I think I'm going to get power ran first, though. Oh, yes, the medium silos, yes. Oh, we also need a place for the shuttle to go. Where are we going to put the shuttle? I don't know where we're going to put the landing pad. Will that just snap on now that it's... No, it won't. Okay. The more you know. There's the backpack we found a horn on. We have one big dude left to bring up. Oh well, we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Up. Up, 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 up. Let me go right here for these because they're both right there. Just gonna unlock them. Oh yeah, I like the train. Uh, the 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 train geometry here too. I just. Man, when I saw that completely surrounded, I'm just calling it a crater. I know it's not a crater, but when I saw that it was completely surrounded on all sides, I'm like, God, that would be so cool. And I had to. I just, I, I couldn't skip out on having such a great place for a base. But yeah, the train down here is really cool. Why are you not... What?
What in the world? Is it because it's locked? I have a dud packaging. Oh wait, what's it connecting to? Obviously there's something there. There we go. That was weird. There's something right here that it was connecting to. Me, I guess. Creepy at the same time, because I don't see anything there. So I haven't had a broken package in a long time. Probably. Soon up there too. Is it because they're so close to the edge? How bizarre. So that one's fine. It's not near an edge of anything. So I think it's just because they're near the edge. Very weird. I just snatched that one out of midair. <laughs> I, I don't get it. It's like a hitbox surrounding the hitbox. So I have to come back to this big boy. Actually, no, we won't. No, we won't. We can, uh, we can make this work. Okay, that one, because it's close to the icicle? Glacio, you're weird. What we'll do is package this dude up. Because we don't need it. This is the best kind of weird, yes. Agreed. Sleep well, robot. I hope to see you again soon. There we go. It's like we were never here. Everything packed up. All the extenders are picked up. So I'm gonna drive this dude in here. And then where do we want to park the shuttle? We don't want it to be too far away from our main area. Maybe. Hmm. No real good place for the shuttle, is there? Maybe tucked in right here? I gladly watch it. Charles2354, thank you so much for the follow. How you doing? Which side is the little thing going to be on? Yeah, if I do this like right here. It doesn't like it. Yeah, it leads me enough room to drive the rover in there. And that's a clear view of the sky, so it should be all right. Let's go get the shuttle and find out. I'm doing all right, man. We, we're uh, building in this completely enclosed area here on Glacier. Like, it's, it's completely enclosed. I had to dig these tunnels. Before these tunnels were here, the only way to get in was to jump in from the top. It's it's really cool. I could just carry the shuttle, but man, 
this is more fun. Taking off and then relanding. Again, all those beacons will disappear in time. Oh, cool. It even orients the right direction. There we go. Nice place for the shuttle. It's not too far away to carry resources. Which is right there. It looks like it's leaning a bit, but oh well. It is because it's leaning a bit. If it looks like it's leaning a little bit, that's because it is. Wait, we're going to go this one, right? Yeah, this one. I'm going to go get the tractor and bring it in. Nope, not this one. That's the big, long, long one. This one? Yeah, that one. It's the one that has the, the little mini mountain sticking out of it at the end. Yeah, if you're just tuning in, our base was out here. And we decided to move it in there. All right, Tractor, you're going to, you're going to take like the grand way in. Ready? Tractor's like, I don't need no stinking tunnel, man. Landed it. Gives you a bit of sense of uh, scale of how far down here we really are. And we'll just park the tractor over here by the shuttle. And we will douse that beacon for now. Because we have enough beacons, I do believe. So now we need to figure out creative light pole placement to get power spread around. Um... But we might not actually really have to worry about it all that much. If you're gonna do storage kind of here ish, so I need a total of four of these to be able to hold everything. I could instead use those with those and have and then the resources are on the front and the back and I don't know it gets kind of difficult to deal with too it can be its own problem so if I have one of those here and then like another one here I would come out to about there and then a third one would come out to about there. And then we could do a fourth one with our composites like here. Or even here. And then we could do gas storage here. I think I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather have gas storage here. And that stuff there. So what we need to do is get our power. Connect, I want to connect all four of those in just a big ring. Just a ring around the top and then bring it down uh, the back side there, run some lights up through this tunnel. So that's going to tell us where we need our power poles. That's what we're using these for, basically, is power poles. So can you reach? Almost. Almost. Right now, where do you unplug? All right, I'm gonna get it as long as I can. There we go. Cool. Oop, it was plugged in and then it thinged out on me. All right, so that, that will go there. We'll have another one of those, but here for the gases. We could just use one of those for the gases. 
Well, there's six gases and that only holds 10, whereas if I do one of those, I can have two of each gas because that'll hold 12. My Dr. Pepper threatened to mutiny there for a minute. Can you guys see the little wheels in my head? Slowly spinning around. We'll drop that there. We'll drop these dudes off. No. No. Just no. <laughs> Just stop. Even though it can go ahead and make more gas if it wants to at this point, because I mean it's plugged in and these aren't full. And if it wants to run off with just that one little turbine, hey. More power to Oh, they're both full. Never mind. Okay. I thought we were still only partially full. Alright, so yeah, let's let's do some things here. Drop all this on here. Better than it running off the shuttle. Oh, truth. And then let's find all of our extenders because we're going to need them all, I think. Let's use the mouse, it'll go quicker. I like the little yellow glow coming from them. I saw some more over here, I believe. Yep. There's a lot more over here. Cool, cool, cool. Sure, you can get in there. That's fine. Nobody wants to go to the bottom run? There, we got a volunteer. And then I think that's all of them. Yeah, it is pretty bad. Um, I I took a uh, medium generator and a bunch of carbon with me to Atrox for that reason. And it made it a little more tolerable. Will you knock it off? Come here. Actually, let's put the rover back together. Because we're done using it to move a bunch of stuff. Get Oh, you can't because there's a thing in your way. I apologize. Here, I was about to start saying ugly things about the rover. Uh, nine. So not quite half powered. So it's not as painful, but it's still pretty bad because helium is only 25 parts per unit or parts per million or whatever it is. Um, so it, it still, it still takes a bit, but if you do two medium generators, you get 18 and then it's nearly fully powered. Um, and you can easily slap your, um, Atmo in the back, put one of these large storage triangle guys in there and work off of that. Okay. So... I want to eventually connect. We will have a fourth location of these, but we don't right now. Uh, it will be over there. So I can go ahead and run extenders down that direction from this one. I think this one's the, the closest. The wind power does look good. And then there's going to be, like I said, there's going to be a fourth set right over there on that entrance. But then we've got, we'll have some of the smaller ones down in there. It's just, and then I'm going to make a big, massive bank of batteries, too. I've already made a lot of them. They're down there somewhere. There they are, right there. So let's do the ring connecting our three stations first. And then when we get the fourth, it'll just be a matter of running from 
that one to that one and then to here and then we'll run the extenders out of the back of this yeah that's a that's a good plan Brandon all right cool um broom. Let's get going. But I want to try to hide them somewhat. I don't want to really want to be able to see them too much from inside. So I'm going to try to bring them back away from the ledge as much as possible. You go there where I can grab you. That would definitely be nice. And God, this makes such a nice rumble sound. Ooh, don't fall off the, the mountain, please. That would be bad. Because that is almost guaranteed death at that point. I hope this is far enough back. They sit pretty low. I don't think I'll be able to see them from down there. I don't care that you can see them from up here. And it doesn't matter that I'm currently going the wrong direction, just I'll be able to fix that when I plug the last one in. You're kind of wonky, aren't you? There you go. We reach, yeah, so what we do is we can reverse the direction of the whole line by plugging that one in and all the arrows change. So we're going to make a line of sight comment and then realize the variable okay, camera will be making big passes. Hey, at least you realized it before you said it. I'm, I'm really good about saying things and as soon as they pop into mind. All right, Michael, take care, man. Have a great evening and I hope to see you again tomorrow night. Thank you again for the bits, buddy. might get it done with just these. What are we going to run out of first? Extenders or oxygen? Ah, we're not going to get quite there. Just a little short. So we are going to have to go back. Yep. That's all of them I had. But we're close. Lots and 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 lots of extenders. Ooh, I didn't realize we still need to paint this. But that can wait. It's not really visible from down below. I also like that you can see those two dudes from down. Ooh, shit. I don't want to dig here. 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 Now I'm falling more. No, it's fine. It's fine. I wonder if I can make it around to the tunnel. Nope, I can't, but at least I can get closer. But it's fine. It's fine. So we can do this. Should be right out over here to my left. I keep pressing the wrong damn button. Yep. We have, whoops. I was watching chat and just managed to do a U turn. We have no beaver emoji. No, we don't have beaver emoji. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Damn. We don't have but the five emote slots. Don't shoot at me, you rude bastards. 
You're not allowed to shoot at vehicles anyway. I wish we had more, but I don't get more boat slots till I get partner. It's just the way it goes. I love how it auto assigns a horn to your shoulder just to remind you you can do that. <laughs> Kisses. Actually, I would like that there. Shift click. And then we just take this up to the rover and then we can just drag this with the rover. Once I find a place to get up, I should be fine. Me and my sketchy ramps that I build. Wheelie, yes! You're allowed to make dad jokes, you're dad. And I am allowed to roll my eyes at them. Rover's up here somewhere. Dude. Knock it off. And that's how it should be. Good. So I'll just spin this dude around like this. Let's just have a power reversal here, shall we? <laughs> this little track is like, that's awful heavy. Oh god, don't fall, 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 thank you. Oh, it's, just not, it's so hard to steer. Look, look, it, every little steering input like makes it uh, oversteer or under, yeah, oversteer. It's just so difficult to steer this in the tractor. Ooh. Adorable. All right, cool. Um, horn temporarily. I'm sorry, but you gotta go down there. Okay, we just swapped lots of things there. It's exciting. Cool, and then you. To go to there. These will definitely be hidden because they're down below the line. To right about. Whoops. Helps to push the button. Right about there. And then just drag that dude over there. They're now all going the right way. I know it sounds like they all unplugged, but they did not. So now, no matter which set is putting out power, it all will get routed into the base. Once we, you know, run a few dozen more extenders down the back side of this mountain over toward that beacon. Look, dude, that's not even that steep. Look at it and don't put it up high. There you go. I've mentioned those wind turbines make a great sound. Yes, I do have an ammonium on the river. It's been chilling there for quite some time. Oh, you mean to open this? Ah. That thing went flying because of the tension that was on it from the terrain. Holy crap. Yeah, we're aiming for that. Yeah, it was. It just was like, I'm out of here, man. I've been buried for too long.
Oh, yeah, they did used to go absolutely flying wild. What are you doing up there in the air? Knock that off. There, that's better. Why is my laptop freaking out? Stop. Can't wait till I have multiple monitors and I don't have to use my laptop for that because it's so far over there. It's like really, really far away. So then, oh wow, that's the entrance, cool. So we're almost there, then we can start work lights and then see what we like better. Work light after work light after work light or a space between each one. It's probably gonna be a space between each one if I had to guess. But I wanna try both. Rover much better at pulling a tractor than a tractor it, it, oops, is at pulling a rover. Who would have thunk it? Really, we have zero power coming from up there right now with all three of those? Oof. That's big, big oof. Can you be above, please? That works. And then let's fix that. Should have brought a work light with me. So let's go get some copper. Because we have lots of it. Power wasn't off very long. That's why I think if we do like two dozen medium batteries, that'll be enough for the short periods where the wind is not blowing. Oh, I meant to unplug that first. Boop. All right, we need her. Uh, we can also throw this dude in here. He'll be way underpowered for now, but eh, whatever. Actually, no. Where are you getting that much power from? That battery and that QTRTG. Okay. Uh, copper, 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 copper. And now we have some. There it is. Ooh, we only have 10. Ooh. We're gonna need to, yeah, half a unit from the field shelter. But how much do these use? Oh, they only dropped two. Okay, well that's more than enough then, okay. It's getting one and a half off the field shelter and QT. And then as soon as that battery drains, I don't know where it went, uh, it'll be underpowered. So we only have 10. That's not even going to be enough to get all the way through here. So I guess we need to go make a big upper run. A little disappointing. But we can at least figure out placement and everything here. Uh, let's go ahead and drop that. Actually, no, I need to keep that for our testing purposes. Plus, that'll keep those from going to my shoulders. Yeah, we're gonna go Silva. I don't have any down there right now, so we'll have to go actually mine it. This is about to get bright. Oops, 
I should have yeah, I should have waited. There you go. And then we will you can't see Rover, you're in my way. I appreciate all your help and everything, but you're currently in my way. My backpack is just like the great source of light right now. So it's gonna be hard to get these to go flat. But if I wiggle them around just right, oh, and now I want to turn them just right. That too is going to be difficult. Yeah, because they spin really fast. Oof, big oof. And of course they have to be lined up. This is where the floodlights would come in handy. Because you can see what direction they're facing when you're spinning them. Is it even spinning when I do that? It doesn't seem like it is. That's not going to reach. It's too far in. I want this to be more this way. If I plug it in and then spin it. Ah, oh, it unplugs. Big disappoint. This is going to take forever to get these lined up right. That's a lot of light. That is a whole lot of light. Wow. It's not quite centered either. gonna bug me that these cables aren't straight. Yeah, but like if I turn around is it yeah, it's still my backpack. I am just a source of light at the moment. So then that next one needs to go right about there. I think we'll be able to answer our question really quick here. I don't think that's its maximum distance. God, I wish she stayed plugged in when you picked him up. That's not, that's not cool. Can you reach that far? Cause that'd be nice. Cause that's somewhat straighter. Nope. Up there. There. Also, you're a little off center anyway, so. And now you're sitting wonky. Come on, I want it pointing as down as I can get. I may just have to be happy with them like that. That, or I have to flatten this ceiling, one of the two. Alright, let's see. Let's go out here. That's pretty freaking bright. We'll do one more. And we'll make sure we're not influencing it. Okay, then. I just wish the base stayed in place when I was... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Dan, to maybe make a bunch of the uh, little platforms. How you doing, by the way? Welcome. I may also want to put a battery in line so that they stay lit, even when we're not producing power up top. I could flatten this. The alignment mod will work above as well. So I could just get a narrow mod and just flatten straight back. It takes a while, though, and it makes you dizzy looking up. But that might be the only way to get these to look right. Um, I mean... I don't think it's too bright. 
I think... I think I like it like that. All right, Strange, sleep well, man. Yeah, we definitely need to put a battery in line of all that just so they stay on. You too, man. Yeah, I think I like it. Which is light after light and not an extender in between. So about there, maybe? Nah, it's gonna be way too far, isn't it? Yeah. How's that? That's more towards the center. Oh, come on, you can reach. Come on, that's so close. Dang it. That's so close. And now, yeah, now you're good. I am tempted to flatten the roof. So much work, though. Yeah, it would. I mean, with an alignment mod, you can get that flat relative, you know, to where you are. And if I put a narrow mod on it, it would just do a nice little strip about the width of a light. But before we get really any farther, we need to go get more copper because we have used all of our copper. Almost all of it anyway. I think that might be too far. Nope, it's good. Yeah, I don't think that's too bright with them. Um, because I, I was considering putting like light, then a extender, light, then an extender, light, then an extender, but I think that's good. All right, let me go get some empty canisters, load them in the shuttle, and we'll head to Silva. Good thing they don't have collisions or I'd be knocking them down. Welcome to the lair. I do dig this base. It's a mess right now, but I do dig it. Do I have another empty one anywhere? I thought I had another empty one. Indeed. Do I have, yeah, I have my canisters, so if I get into any sticky situations while we're digging, we'll be fine. So we'll throw that there. We'll throw that there, and off we go. We need to make some more hydrazine soon, too. We're running low. Hi, Silva. Head back to the abandoned base. That's weird. Uh, there's... Oh, that's right. We took the thing. Whoops. Do I have enough soil to make one? Yeah, of course I do. I've got a rover full of soil. Need to make some clay to get some ceramic here real quick to make a thing to put on the back of the rover. Oh, there's some copper. Neat. Three, but hey, I'll take them. I guess I forgot something down here. Well, no, I want you to fill that. I want you to fill that. Anyway, here, look, do that. Why are you being such a pain in the ass? Uh, clay. Six is kind of overkill, but whatever. Put this back on the rover. Before I forget. 
I maybe bring the rover over here. But yeah, this is our abandoned base. It served us well. Eventually I'll get it set back up to collect nitrogen, but for now I don't need it. It's not a priority. Wouldn't mind having that dude. Up on Glacio. Cool. So we get three of these to make uh, that guy. This move has been a lot of work. Totally worth it. But it's been a lot of work. Alright, need to pop. Ah, there it goes. Much better. And number three, almost done. Cool. So, print unit. And I may smelt the copper here because I don't have my power really connected all that well up on Glacio yet. So probably be the, the play is to do it here. Because we got more than enough power here. I swear everything seems to take longer to print now. I can't be imagining that. And done. Try not to fall in the hole. And then give me these empty dudes. Nope. There you go. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna take this. Actually, I'm not gonna take that. I'm gonna go over here to the uh Landfill hole and grab two out of there. I'm pretty sure there's two in there That way the resources have a place to go as I'm drilling and they don't just fall to the ground. Yeah, there we go There's some in the landfill That's just my affectionate name for this hole where I threw stuff I didn't want and never wound up shredding it All right, let's go. I'm just gonna go all the way down to the mantle layer because we should be able to get Malachite in really good quantities down there. And our way down is right here. Excuse me. Slow down. This just gets like really steep here in a minute. And it's already pretty steep. That's almost a 45 degree angle. There it goes. Yeah, I knew it got steep. And then we just gotta look for ooh, Malachite. <laughs> that was almost bad. We've gone that way quite a bit, so let's kind of branch out in this direction and look for some. Shouldn't take too long to find it. And fill up both these canisters. There's ammonium, there's spellerite, so we should be near some. Can you go away? Thank you. 
ladder, right? So yeah, we're close to some malachite. Usually they're in pretty close to each other. I think this other side of this wall. No? Well, that's surprising. Alright, I'll keep going. Stop and look around for a minute. I mean, it's bright green. It's hard to miss. So let's kind of look over there by it. All right, look, big mushroom tree. You're in the way. Come on, get out. Go. Thank you. Oh, come on, Malachi. Where are you? Why are you hiding? Is it up? Sometimes it's up. Camera would stay zoomed out. Make my life easier. Okay, I guess we're gonna go up. I'm not intending to go up, but it's just kind of happening on its own. What the hell? Where's all the okay? It's always in huge quantities around all the other resources, and now tonight. I glad, just check them out. <laughs> every, it every is the <laughs> one and only Gabriel 12. What's up? So does that mean there is 11 other one and only Gabriels? How's it going? Thanks for the follow, man. Welcome. How you doing? My kingdom for some malachite. It doesn't help that I can't see part of the screen, so I'm gonna raise my microphone up a little bit. It'll probably make me a little bit quieter on the stream, but I, I can't see like, I couldn't see like this whole area, so I may have missed some. The chat's usually really good to yell at me, be like, hey, idiot. our first marble of the save. I don't really have room to bring it back. I could just leave this dude. Uh, just medium storage. Okay, let's face it. Not really important. And we'll take all this off here. I'd like to keep the ammonium. There we go. Cool. So maybe the Zeb is a sign of good luck and we're going to find Malachite soon. We can help. Yes! See, Zeb's run a slot! Okay. Mixed it with a lot of water, right? But that's okay. I can I can deal with that. Alright, let's get this going in the canisters now. So we'll put one in that one, and we put one in that one, and then they will pick up the rest of it. Which apparently wasn't as much as I thought, but hey, it's okay, because it looks like there's a lot here. Bye, his spine. 
this bit up here. And then get that bit over there. And then we'll dig down a bit and see if there's any more in the ground below or not. Really? Uh, that's disappointing. Especially because I'm running out of storage. So we don't have a rover on Calibre already. This would have been a lot easier. Any more nearby? No? It's hard to see at much of a distance because of all the formations in the cave. Maybe if we go up a little bit and look around. Maybe, maybe, maybe. It's possible we've just been missing a lot. She can see it from a pretty good distance, even though it's dark down here. But it's just bright green. You can ladder right, go away. Just need to keep an eye on my soil levels. Come on, Malachite. What the hell? Laterite everywhere I look. Figures, the one resource you want is the one you can never find. There's some. Say it and it appears. Because then it wants to prove me wrong. Ooh, hello. Double patch. Nice. That's what you want to see. Beautiful. So let's go back a little bit. And whoop, don't fall off. Don't fall off rover. There you go. Good job. And then go right here. Grab this a bit. A lot. Holy crap. Oh, we dropped one. No, no. No, no, no. Put that back. Put that away. There you go. We were drilling so fast we dropped some. Actually, is my storage completely full? Yeah, we're going to have to leave this ladder right behind. It's causing issues. It's fine. Our base is on Glacio. There's tons of ladder right in the caves just beneath our feet so we can afford to shed some of this there we go cool now we shouldn't lose it on the ground oh we lost some on up here I didn't even realize that That one's almost full. You've got 20, you've got 10. So we've got almost one full. Is there any more below the surface? Yep. Perfect. Let's go way back, actually. I know there's still more up in this wall, but I can always build back up to that. Yeah, that's what I thought we were going to see. Is more underground in both areas. And I was right. I think that's as deep as this one goes, though. So, this way. Ha 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 ha, yes. Love to see it. How are we doing here? Yep, yeah, got some more there. One canister nearly full, the other one halfway there. So it looks like that deposit's depleted down that way, so we can just focus our efforts here. So let's turn around. The one and only Gabriel. Is redeemed. Oh, hydrate. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. It's important to stay hydrated.
sí. Alright, so then let's go up and grab this stuff that we missed this way. I don't think it's a lot, but I'm gonna get it knocked out. More freaking laterite. And then go down. Beautiful sound. Such a beautiful sound. Canisters filling with resources. I'm lucky we'll get that second canister full right here, but I don't think we're going to. Oh, that's about the end of it. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. We're almost done, so. Just gotta find one more little patch of Malachite. And then we'll be done, and we can go up top, smelt it, and then go back to Glacio and resume building the lair. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite bases I've ever built. Almost past this. I seriously almost didn't see this. Wrestling with debris, that's fun. And that goes up pretty high. Just back up and build farther back. There we go. Got most of that and we're full. Sweet. Let's let's go. Let's go back to the surface. And since we drilled the whole time, all we gotta do is follow our road. And it shall lead us back out. Oh, we gotta fix it first. There we go. Oh, careful, low gravity is is a pain. I don't even know how I managed to pave over that. That's really cool. And then, wow, that's really steep back down. And it just takes us about a minute to get back to our ramp. Maybe not even that long. What did I hit? I don't even know. There's where we dropped our medium storage. Because screw that guy, we have a Marbs instead. A Marbs, a Zebes. I shouldn't be allowed the English when I'm tired. Ooh, do you have a horn? No, but you got a lot of cool shit. Uh, some good stuff there. Granted, I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. But I guess you know, I just use the canister. I don't need all that other stuff. But I will blow that up just for funsies. Hooray! I did have the rover a little close to that. That was kind of scary. We survived though, so we're fine. Should be getting close to our ramp. I say that and yet we just keep driving and driving. And driving. I mean, we gotta be there, right? We didn't go that far back. I guess we did. And back. Ten days in a row of streams sitting in this chair. Gotta tell you, it's toll on me. There's our ramp. Very crooked ramp. But a ramp nonetheless. Inspect the surface. We'll spend a few minutes waiting on this to smelt. And then we'll go back to Glacio. I'm so excited about this base. It's just so freaking cool. It's a 
long journey out of here, though. Let's see who's out there lurking the night. Mm, nobody who hasn't said hello. Fair enough. So everybody just is lurking. Which is cool. I'm totally fine with lurking. And we're out. Turn around. Wait. Oh yeah, there it is. Like where's the base? I turned around too far. So what we're gonna do is grab the canister that already has some. Can I just eat over that? Nope. We're gonna grab the canister that already has a little bit of copper in it to get the smelting process started. And then by time it's full, I'll have another empty canister that we can drop all that into. So this is just gonna take a while. So while this is running, I'm gonna real quick, I just get up, stretch my legs for a minute, grab a snack. So I'll be right back in about, uh, give me like two minutes and I'll be back. We're back. Did you miss me? Oof. Only 13 have gone in that amount of time. Wish I had two smelters here like I do up on Glacio. Um, we need something to occupy our time. Hey, Tweak! What's up, man? How you doing? Tempted to take some of this with me, too. I got the QTRTGs. 
Yeah, I think we're gonna steal a little bit more stuff from uh, Blasio. You just went to the core? Is that your first time? Oh, second time, okay. That first time you go down there and see it for yourself, it's just like, whoa. It does feel good. I have really, I, I've never heard of these. Cheez-Its snapped. Why Cheez-It needed to go and introduce a new shape, I don't know. They're perfectly fine as little squares. They taste just like regular cheeses. Second time went, dude. Yeah. The first time me and my friends went underground, it took us two hours to get there, first of all. Them once we were down there, man. Bastion is a charming little game, no doubt about it. So, we're gonna steal that. We're gonna steal that. And then I need a place for the marble. That's loud. Get in there. Get in there. Go on. There you go. Currently, we're going to upgrade your base. Cool. Got him. Got him. I got him. I got him. Commander Hobo made a weird noise as he was about to do the thing. Hello! SDK Phoenix, what is up? How was Astrid here tonight, man? Mary Moonface, Skyfall, Phoenix, of course. Welcome, Danny. Welcome. How you guys doing? That was a seven-time STK Phoenix combo. Where'd you guys go? And of course, Streamlabs isn't subscribed to Phoenix, so uh, couldn't use the emote. Big sad. How you guys doing? If you give me just long enough to get this uh, Malachite smelted, I'll show you my new layer base. It is in a pretty, pretty sick uh, location on Glacio. Oh yeah, it tried, bless its heart. They cut off the emote. I think Streamlabs is subscribed on my channel. Maybe not. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I am doing well. Um, you know, got this harebrained idea of moving my entire Glacio base into a crater that is surrounded on all sides. Um, you know, so normal, normal stuff. Whoops. I turned the smelter off. My bad. Um... It looks really cool, though. I, I'm, 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 I'm pleased with it. Very, very pleased with it. We just got to get all this malachite smelted so we can uh, go back because we're running work lights down the tunnel uh, entrances to one light up the tunnels because they're dark, but two they're bringing uh, the electricity down. I have the big giant extra large wind turbines plus some of the large wind turbines uh, lining the rim of the crater up at the top so it's way up high because it's a pretty deep drop down. Uh, why, why'd we stop? Oh yeah, that's why we stopped. Uh, so it's, it's a bit of a trip. Let me uh, see if I can bring up a photo here real quick. Just to give you a visual idea of this is before we started moving in, but I took a screenshot of it earlier today. Uh, open with, I don't need to open Photoshop. Photos will be fine. 
so this is the area here. Um, I've gone through and painted where I flattened and everything, but it is completely surrounded on all sides. I just made tunnels to get out. Um, and then we've moved to the basin uh, to this corner down here. And then there's wind turbines and everything around the edge. We're running extenders down the side of the hill to into the tunnel to bring the power in. And it just looks fantastic. We even got our shuttle in there and everything. Um, I've never had an area on Glacio be completely surrounded like this before on all sides. So I'm pretty stoked about it, honestly. Oh, nope, there's the game right there, OBS. There you go, you got it. But it's gonna take a lot of copper. Um, though, I bet we could finish smelting on um, Glacio as we're getting our power online on Glacio. We should be okay. But we should be bringing our power online pretty quick. And I have weird Cheez-Its. They are Cheez-Its brand. But they're... The white cheese, they taste exactly like Cheez-Its. They crunch exactly like Cheez-Its. They're just... Cheesy, thin, and crispy. Doesn't that just describe a Cheez-It? I don't get why Jesus thought they needed a new shape. I don't understand. Probably some marketing person somewhere was just like, people are getting bored of our square. In order to increase sales, we need to make a strange shape. I like, to, hello? Uh, yes, thank you. All right, here we go. Now we can look at it in real time. I'm really proud of it. Um, I like to take advantage of unique locations. Oh, hi, everybody. Just everybody sits here hanging out. Glacier over there being a loner. But I like to take advantage of unique locations when I come across them, so. The beacons are temporary. They're just to help me know when I'm placing extenders where the different tunnels are, and then I'll take them down. But welcome to the lair. I, I'm leaving some of the natural train. We are going to have an auto extractor on that, by the way. But we've got our tunnels. Uh, we're currently working on running. Oh, that is pretty bright. Running work lights in. Um, and so you've got big wind up or on three different locations. It will eventually be in a fourth as well. We'll have like one kind of there ish. Uh, so it just looks cool just up there on the edge. And those are all connected by extenders. And then on that one, they're running down the hill and out this way to power these work lights, which will eventually bring power into here. And I can plug into this eventually. And then this will work its way around to being plugged into the base. So we're going to have a little another one of these right here for some storage and then we can just do like a, a light post here to you know bridge the gap and then we're getting all of our oxygen off of our friend over here so this is all pretty much unused i don't know what i'm going to use this space for maybe an automation line but the tunnels look absolutely incredible it's just the way the haze and the light comes through them at the end it's just that one's pretty short, but they, they look phenomenal. Uh, it's just a kind of a cool effect to just be there. So, yeah. Glade Steel Base is always very cool. Yes, yes, it is. Um, so, if you didn't know better, I'd say you were a dad making dad jokes like that. Let's go drop this stuff on here. It's going to be way underpowered, but... It'll be okay. Because we don't have the big power hooked up yet. No, I know you're not, but I'm saying with dad jokes like that. 
When everybody asks me if ever I'm gonna have children, I quote the birdcage and say, not without a miracle. Uh, cool. So we can let the smelters do their smelty thing. And if they slow down when the wind stops blowing, they slow down when the wind stops blowing. Don't really care. Because right now I have enough copper to finish the project at hand, which is lights. Lots and lots and lots. I'm gonna ban you. Bad. What do you say? Look, you made my inner Jew come out. So, put that there. No, leave that open. What are you doing? Put that over there. Put that over there. I really need to get a portable oxygenator. All right, go get food. Eat up. You've earned it. You had a good stream. You've entertained people. Or they entertained you. That's the way it usually goes to chat. And boop. My chat's been pretty quiet tonight. They're all lurking, playing games. But anyways, see you, man. Enjoy your food. Ooh, so bright. The only thing I don't like about putting his work lights up here is you can't ever tell what direction the plug is going to be. Will that reach? Yes. What I did there was remember or forget to uh, open my backpack before I press the A button to print a work light. It's like one of them came out nice and perfectly straight. This one now is all weird and now I gotta spin it and it like, it doesn't seem to spin, but then sometimes it does. I don't understand. That's too close. That could be farther down that way. Yeah. It's a little bright when you're looking right at them, but then once you're just kind of like at a distance, it's fine. Well, the wind just shut off for a minute. That's why we need batteries, which is the next order of business is going to be making all of the rest of our batteries and putting in a battery backup system. Out of reach. Yep. Is that in the center? Yeah, that's close enough. Let's see. This one will go to about there. So we will throw him on the ceiling. Yeah? Yeah. Boop. And then you. Oh, hello, Rover. Photo bomb me. You can go right about there. My microphone blocked the very tip top of my screen, so I kind of got to look around my microphone to place these. Oh, perfect. I didn't think I was going to reach. Boop, boop. I kind of left my copper in the middle of the tunnel. Very, very well lit tunnel. Doesn't spell a bit of the mystery. I may not light all four tunnels as originally planned. I don't know. It just kind of loses a little bit of the the vibe of just the light at the end because now it's just completely lit up and it's not as dramatic looking. But I had to have some way to get power down here and I didn't want to just run extenders, so I figured I'd light up the one tunnel. So you go right there. Now, the question is, how do I want to get the power from there to there? I really don't want just a big batch of extenders everywhere. 
So what I'm thinking is... Um, a couple of these dudes, if they'll stick to the side of the walls. I have ceramic. Where is it? Also, you're really done already with all the copper? Seriously, you finished all that that quick? I'm impressed. Where, 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 where? Is ceramic over here? No. Where is my ceramic? I know I have some. Maybe I don't. Um, let's see back here. Ah, there's where you're hiding. So I'll see how I like the way this looks. And if I don't like it, I'll just use extenders. But I think this will work. Use the 45 on the wall, run it back a bit, and insert a large B into the wall. Good. Well, my goal is to have um, some batteries up here. Basically, I'm going to make another one of these. It's going to have two silos. And we're going to have batteries just kind of chilling up here. And then maybe another bank of them, depending on what power needs wind up being over there. Also have to figure out a way to get power to bridge this. Because um, right now I don't really have an easy solution for getting power across this gap. Because there will be automation happening right here um, and somewhere else. Uh, there's ammonium up on an edge so up there. Though up there, that's easy. I've got a power source right nearby with a platform that I can just pull the power off of. Um, let's see how these little wind turbines look. They might be okay. They might look all right. Or they might look like trash and I'll hate it and we'll have to come up with a different plan. One of those two things is about to happen. These will stick to walls, won't they? Yeah. So I don't need lights out here. I think this will be fine. And it kind of drives home the point that this is a wind powered base. You could probably go farther down than that, honestly. It says it plugged in. Ooh, that's just a little out of reach. Let's see if I can move this down any farther. Sits weird because of the angle of that, so let's get it off of this instead. There we go. Still just out of reach. How far down does this cable actually go? So I can move that down to there. I think that'll still reach. Yep. Oh, it's still gonna be out of reach, isn't it? Yeah. But I can just move this back and then move that platform back as well a little bit. It'll be okay. That's like it's max right there. A little more. Cool. And then if I bring this off of this side, can we get plugged in? Nah. Nah. Now you good? Really? Seriously, that doesn't reach. Oh, 
try to throw close if I can get the camera to play nice. So damn close. Inches. Meter inches. Alright. Fine. I want you there. There we go. Cool. And then that'll connect to the thing storing the batteries. Then we'll have a gas storage. One of those dudes right here, which will run into the back of one of these. Because we're going to have like two more of those. I'm, not, I'm still not 100% sure how I want to do my storage. Because it takes, what, three, four of those? And if I start running them out too far this way, they're just going to look weird. So I think this might be how I wind up getting power over here is I'll have the rest of my storage over here. And I can just dig a little trench, run extenders in it underground and then cover it back over and then have the extenders pop back above ground. There's what I'm looking for. So my wind up top is, I mean, when the lights go off, that's when we're losing wind up top. Sadly, only the ones that you're close to will animate. Get some oxygen here before we go on. So I need two aluminum and a resin. Um, my base is in such a mess right now. This is not the final product for storage. It's just, I just moved everything in here tonight, so everything's a bit messy. I actually need four aluminum and two resin. Where the hell is my aluminum? Oh, wait, there it is right there. Yeah, that's looking right at it. Excuse me. So we'll drop this off on this guy. And uh, put the titanium away, put the resin here, and print up two of those. Did I pass it? No, oh, there it is. Do that, and we'll set you to do the same, maybe. If I can click you. There we go. And then spin the aluminum, spin that, and we're off. And then I can cancel the repeat button, cancel that button, have you pick that up, and have you pick that up. Cool. Oh, look at him just in synchronization there. It's almost perfect. So we already have some of our batteries made, just not all of them. It's probably overkill for as short as we run without wind, but I'd rather not run short on power. So overkill it is. And if it turns out it's not enough, I still have plenty of zinc and a lithium to make more. Spin you around. Cool. And I think I just want one of them up here. I think this will look cool, just having just a stack of batteries right here. And honestly, I may just do one set of batteries here. That way they're not clipping and... Okay, you're going to want to play weird, aren't you? Yeah, you're good. Uh, let's lock these back down now that we know they're good. Can you lock? Thank you. And then you should be able to connect. Oh, you're connected on that side already, so... Mm, not the prettiest thing ever, but it'll work. Gotta do that. It's mandatory. Yeah, I think I just want one bank of batteries right here, and then we'll figure out where to put the other ones. 
Well, once those are charged, that'll look pretty cool. And they should charge pretty quick. We got quite a bit of power coming into them. Alright, so then that other one will go here. Not gonna put anything on it at the moment. It's gonna sit here just to store gases. That might be a bit of a stretch for that one to reach. Yeah. Um, can you move any farther this way? Not much. What if I move you out then? I really would rather have it go from that side cable. So let's do this. Really? You can only go on that side. That's disappointing. Boo! Pointing at it is so helpful. Oh wait, you clicked just a second ago. Let's not play this game. You were there. You were fine. Nobody moved. How? I didn't move anything and you reached earlier. How is this possible? There you go. Well, you were in. It's like right there on the limit, which is why it's being difficult. All right, cool. Uh, so then we don't have any choice. We'll just have to make this fugly. And then can you reach? Yeah, awesome. Why are those not charging? No wind, I guess. Really, there's no wind right now? Nope. Not a bit. Oh, well. Uh, so then I want... Just so I know what's going to go here. This is going to go here. To hold all of our gases. So we can do one of each on the front, one of each on the back. And we want another one of these, but I don't... What, do those take iron? Yeah, they take iron, and I don't think I have any iron at the moment. I'm on Glacio, I don't have any iron. Alright, literally a wall of hematite there that I refuse to drill out. Uh, let's get this guy in place. Just want these kind of spread throughout up this middle area here. Which is wherever. And if I have to run extenders between them, it's fine. But I think those will connect to each other. Yep. And then I can put another one, like, right here-ish. There goes the batteries. Oh, wait. I have two more of these? Do I have two more platforms? Oh, I do. Okay. But I only had one more. Well, you sit there. Let me figure out where your platform can go. And can you... Can you... There you are. So this can chill, like, here. I'll just kind of put it at an, at an angle. Just, just... But then it's square to that, so okay. Never mind. Uh, that's never going to reach, though, is it? Not even close. It's okay. I have a plan for that. That plan is another light pole, wherever the hell I put them all. That is a very good question. I think they're on the rover. Yeah, they're on the rover. Eventually, we'll have lights in all these. I just don't have enough tungsten to do it right now. I think I've got like three pieces of tungsten. And I want to save it to make tungsten carbide for the things for the base that need tungsten carbide. Those sound good when they get spinning. Holy cow. 
way through. This is gonna be tricky because it's gonna wanna. No, I didn't wanna sit crooked. Cool. So you can plug in there, lock that down, and then that can go there. And then. Ooh, also rather noisy. Wow. Um, we can throw one of these dudes up top. Because that's just that much more power. And then where I don't need lights, I can put small wind turbines. Uh in the additional tier one holes that we have left over. So we've got one more and I really do want them all pretty much in the center, though maybe we should have one back there. So we have a big dead space back there. Right there. Yeah, let's do one up here and then plug it into the field shelter. Can you reach? Yeah. Perfect. Uh, so where's the other big boy then? Is it you? It's you. So that one will go over here. The platforms are all nicely placed that they kind of help me jump up when I time the jump right. There you go. I don't have to jump right, I just look like a moron. And there, you can kind of hang out there. Awesome. So, batteries fully charged. So, now we've just got to build some of these guys. So, we need iron. Um, which, I guess. I need steel to make that. I don't have any iron. Grr, we've got like that malachite spot right over there that I want to use for just extracting iron right on site. Granted, it'll make it loud at the base having that thing constantly thumping, but oh well. So we're just gonna have to go get iron. This guy's way over here by himself because I'm angry at him because he uses too much power. There we go. Yep, symbols are turned the way I like them. But not on this side. So flip that around. Okay, so yeah, we've got like one or two pieces of hematite laying around, and that's just not enough. I think it's only one or two. Yeah, I don't see any more. Why are you trying to hold graphene when you are carbon? I really wish they'd fix that. We have one piece of tungsten left. Great. So yeah, we need to get iron so that we can make another RTG for a rover for Calder. What's happening here? There we go. That's neat. Um... I'm just looking to see if I have any iron at all. I don't. I also don't have any canisters now, do I? I think they're all full, but I think what I can do is move some of this copper in between. Yeah. That'll work. Because I have multiple coppers. There we go. Need to find a good place for Zeebs as well. And nobody better say, in the shredder, I'll ban you. All marbles are special. Some are just a little more shy than others. It's cool, we got a lot of copper now. Way more than we need because I'm not gonna do... I thought I was going to do a thing where I uh, lit all four tunnels, but I, I just think it'd be cooler to leave some of them alone. They just look better. So throw you on there. Let's get the rover better kitted here to go on a resource run. Hey. 
that's handy. Hematite. Um, put that there. Let's go make another silo. Now there's an iron. So I had one. Let's throw all these dudes up here. And we'll have this one silo empty, and then we can make one more. Excuse me. Oh, more argon. Great. Go dump that in a hole somewhere. Well, we'll eventually need it. We'll probably also eventually need some of these extenders, so I'm not even going to think about shredding them yet. Yeah, I'm not even going to think about shredding them yet, because I also don't have a shredder. Um, so, you know. Titanium. Cool. Uh, let's put this copper away. I'm pretty sure this one, yeah, is still set to silo. Can't wait to have all the resources organized. I can start organizing them somewhat. Put our natural resources over there. On that one. What is that? Quartz? Yeah. We can get some organization going. Pointing, pointing, very helpful. Uh, throw this on the rover. And then we'll go get some hematite, and that'll probably end us for tonight, just doing the hematite collection. A little bit of a tight squeeze past the shuttle, but wasn't sure where else to really put it. Um, this is going to be an automation area over here eventually, so I didn't want to put it over here. This is all going to feed off the, the thumper over here. And I'm not quite sure how yet with the auto arms. We'll have to figure that out. But that's a problem for future Brandon. Current Brandon doesn't need to worry about it. So we'll do this here. Because it's a natural resource. I just want to clean up a little bit. And suddenly the organizing instinct kicked in. And then that's... Do we have two lithium? Oh, okay. We got a lot of lithium. Put one there. Yeah, put the other one right there. And I think that's all my natural resources, right? Nope. Uh, resin's hanging out over there, too, so... And I'll put these in a better order later. As far as being able to find them easier. I usually use the order that SDK has them on the uh, wiki, honestly. It works. Alright, cool. Let's go find hematite, guys. I want two canisters full because we need a lot. And then eventually we're going to need to bite the bullet and go back to Aatrox and get more. Whoop, didn't even do that. And get more uh, helium because we've got like two bars left. And we got a lot of work to do that's going to require helium. So anything outside the base is now free game for sure. Digging. I was avoiding digging everywhere else. So let's uh, get both of these primed to do hematite, maybe. Like that. There we go. Now they'll both be picked up, and we'll have it going in double time. And hopefully this will be the last time I have to collect Hematite with a rover. Oh, that is really bright. That looks really cool. Not that much more down here? Okay. Fine. Then we'll just go over here with this some more. I don't know how much more. Um, we'll 
bit. Alright. It'll do. Hey, what's up, Boom Balloon? How you doing? I like the Boom Balloons. I think they're cute. I'd like to get a seed for one. I'd like to get a little garden going inside my lair. I mean, they get sunlight in there, so why not? Not much, because we are right next to the North Pole. So we only get sun in there for the briefest of minutes. Oh, hello. This just got good. Sora when it let me see through the train there for a minute, but I saw one. Uh, let's see if we can't get a boomerang seed. Settle down. Settle. I'm just gonna uproot you. If you give me a seed, I'll replant you. I just don't get seeds as often as I used to. I used to get seeds like 80% of the time I dug up plants. Now it seems like it's the other way around, like 20%. That's sad, because I like planting the mutant plants. They give a little character to your base. Alright, so there's a little more in the wall there. And a little bit more just where I was digging. But very little bit more, so I don't think it's worth really going back down for. But I see another boom balloon nearby. Yeah, I see two more. Let's try to grab a seed while we're at it. Actually, let's try to grab some seeds off our cataplant friends, too. Hey, guys. Look. I, I want to turn you from red to blue, so be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Don't shoot at me. No seed. No seed. Seed! Yay! That makes me happy. So I need more than one, but that's okay. Scan these dudes over here. And if I remember, we'll come back and get those research objects, but I won't remember. So cool, we've got a seed. If I remember right, we've got a seed of something back on Silva, so we can go dig that up and it'll give us a seed. I just don't know what it is. Hey, dude. How you doing? You just get so gassy when you're nervous. Poor Boom Balloon. So this has turned into a hematite slash boom hood seed hunt. Man. I'm just killing boom balloons for no good reason right now. Isn't that just the way of humanity? Just waste things for our own enjoyment. Nice little bit of commentary there. Uh, all right, well, oh, well, there's one more balloon, but first there's more hematites. And some graphite. Now I kind of wish I would have brought the graphite with me. Whoa, hello. There's a little guy who goes very far below ground, but holy crap, how full is that one? That, okay then, we're done. Uh, no need to keep digging if you get everything you came for. But we do want to see if we can take another friend home with us. Alright, dude, come on. You got this. Be the one. Ah. So sad. So very sad. I know the base is behind me. I just want to see if there's one or two more bubble in anywhere. There's not. So we're going to the base. 
Oh well, we got one friend tonight. We'll make more later, I'm sure. I should have went over there, because that's closer, so let's do that. Oof. Oof. Many oofs. There we go. I probably will leave the beacons above the cave entrances, but I'll take them off for sure. The ones that are up high, those were just kind of marking where they were, where the cave entrances or exits or however you want to look at it, uh, on the inside, so that I knew where roughly where I needed to place my wind turbines. So we'll drop this off on the smelter, but I think that's going to be it for progress tonight, because there's not a whole lot more I can do without this iron. We're kind of at an impasse on in that regard. So let's get this going. In fact, let's just take this, move it here. No, I had something set to auto go. What, what's that? Oh, it's that one iron that I had. <laughs> I didn't realize those are still set to do something. Well, you know, we have a seal now, so we're, we're making progress towards our goal. That was awesome. I'm like, what's happening? Stop. And we can just take this whole thing, spin that around. I want to be able to see those. There we go. And just put these both to output, and then when they empty, we can grab an iron, drop it in there, and that will get everything going and pick it back up as iron. And then we'll be ready to, tomorrow night, make some more progress on building this, and then maybe get this base functional, um, and then be able to head to Calador and start our plans there as well. So let's see, who are we going to raid this evening? Um, I don't know how much longer Mudkip's going to be going. How long has he been going? Only two hours. He usually goes a little bit longer than that. Yeah, let's go say hi to Mudkip. He's playing some Satisfactory. I'm sure most of you are familiar with the game. So... I will be live again tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Central Time with more Astroneer for day nine. Out of 10 days in a row of live streams, make sure you're following me on Twitter so you don't miss announcements of live streams, videos, and just the other stupid stuff I post on there. Uh, if you're not already, please come subscribe on YouTube. would love to have you. I have videos almost every day of the week, including Twitch archives. So if you happen to miss a stream, you can catch up there. That is the Vainglorious Discord server, and you should totally be a part of it because we have awesome people, and you're awesome, so you're a perfect fit. And I just realized that my uh, smelters have all stopped. Uh, and there are your raid emotes. If you are a subscriber, you can drop those on Mudkip when we get over to his channel. Again, guys, tomorrow night we'll be picking back up right here at 7 p.m. Central Time with more Astroneer. I hope to see you all then. And I hope you have a great night with Mudkip and Satisfactory. I'll see you guys tomorrow. The Jezero Crater sounds very familiar. Like, why? Why does it sound so familiar? Whoa, big warriors! Oh!